question from uh, Jimmy. Why can't I go 100%? Uh, you know, listen, you can. The question is, what is the trade-off? What, what are we giving up? What, um, what are we unable and able to do when we go 100%? And I assume we are referring here to a uh, sparring session. Uh, so what's the benefit behind sparring session? Let's just start from there, right? Sparring session is like a midterm, at least in my term, in my mind. Um, we come into a sparring session to test our skills, to test the techniques, to test the concepts, the sequencing, the drilling that we've done to put it to test in a more realistic, life-like scenario. And going 100% will do exactly that, but it will not allow us to learn. So why can't we go 100% every single time? Well, we won't be learning anything. We won't be, we, we, we won't be improving anything. And, and this is my perspective, right? There are different ways of learning. There are different pillars, different categories in which we can maximize learning. And this is not only uh, pretending to jujitsu only. This is actually all about life, in my opinion, right? We have a classroom-like classroom like study scenario in which we can observe new information we can analyze we can we can take notes we can comprehend we can make sense out of things and then we have drilling sessions drilling sessions would be a little bit more of a workshop like scenario where we can troubleshoot we can figure things out we can um um, test things in a slower and more controlled environment where mistakes are welcome but also adjustments are necessary um, then we have it like private lessons where it's very one focus one-on-one -on -one targeted um, education if you will um, and then last final one will be the midterms this is where the sparring sessions come in so if you go 100% across all of those one you're not gonna have training partners because nobody wanna it's gonna want to train with you that's number one <coughs> But number two, you are not going to have any takeaways. There is a bigger problem behind going 100%. When we go 100%, we resort to things that we do the best. And it's hyper-focus on winning. It's hyper-focus on a specific goal of destroying, smashing, uh, being on top, or perhaps even being on the bottom, but in a very aggressive way. The moment we take that approach, we are not vulnerable anymore. We are not putting ourselves in the weak positions. We are not putting ourselves in experimentation points. And all those are points where we are growing the most. So in order for one to grow, in order for one to get better, in order for one to continue the education path, we need to put ourselves in a vulnerable spot, somewhere where discovery is welcome, somewhere where failure is fairly high actually, so we can continue exploring and see what works, but what doesn't work. And based on those scenarios, we can draw our own conclusions. So imagine this. If every single day in classroom, all you had is test, 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 but there was no new information acquisition, your test would be a very slow percentage or very low percentage success. It's just, it is what it is, simply because we are not learning anything new. On Jiu Jitsu Med is not much different. In order for us to test things, we have to discover them first. Before we can discover them, we need to understand, or before, before I should say, before we put them to test, we need to understand and we need to comprehend them. As we receive the information, we need to process them in our mind. We need to explore a little bit. We need to experiment. We need to fail a little bit test a little bit um, on a slower pace and then when the timer is right when we feel confident that's when we would go and um, going in that sparring scenario um, where we can test this out um, in a, a little bit more lifelike scenario would be very welcome another component behind going 100% is our training partners listen if every single time we go 100% balls out balls to the wall we will injuries will be very present <clears throat> unfortunately not only for us but also for our partners this is not what jiu jitsu is all about at least not in my opinion we most of us 99% of us um, we don't do jiu-jitsu for a living. We don't uh, do competition for a living. We don't do professional jiu-jitsu. Some of us do, and good for you if you're one of those. But most of us have professional jobs. Most of us have careers. Most of us have lives off the mat, and we want to 
come back on a mat without any injuries. We want to leave those mats intact with a smile on our face without any um, serious um, setbacks, physical setbacks, right? So going 100% against puts us in, this, in, in these positions where us or our training partners will be, um, you know, put in the compromised positions. And those are not always necessary, even though we want to test them out, even though we want to put ourselves in a comp compromised positions, tapping is very welcome at these at my academy we do explore things we we figure things out we put ourselves in compromised positions but nobody's walking off the mat hurt nobody's going 100 percent if we are going 100 percent the those statements are made very clear and everybody is aware of these situations so there's no surprises we are not put in a failure position we are put in a position of success with the pressures and the compromise experimentation modes if you will, where it allows us to continue growing, continue discovering, continue failing and drawing conclusions so we can grow better, faster, and stronger. And just better, better jujitsu guys. Peace.